today I'm going to talk about uh, the interview process, uh, which is basically very important for everyone uh, in, in the job, job search life cycle. And uh, I have received questions from many people basically to, to like what questions are actually their interviews, how to prepare for that, any generic guidance, any tips. So I'll be doing that uh, in this video. I won't be going too much into details into specific questions because they are really available on internet on many websites let's say I think Glassdoor and then there are many big four based websites where you can find the nature of the questions. Uh, in this interview I'll be touching upon how to actually prepare for an interview in terms of things to do ahead of interview, things to do within the interview and then how to manage the whole process right. Uh, but before going to depth, I would like to say that like every everybody has got different uh, qualifications, different experience, uh, and different skill set uh, behind behind them. And not every candidate is kind of equivalent. So uh, interview experience can be different for everyone, and and recruiters or the hiring managers actually actually know that. Uh, for this video, I guess the focus is quite on audit side basically but obviously this is more or less relevant to uh, other service lines as well as, as required especially on the uh, behavioral side uh, as well now uh, going into the actual auditing side uh, you know there are different roles uh, within which people are usually hired uh, they start from associates senior associates and then assistant manager levels and there are even some roles below the associate level as well uh, like internships or graduation intakes etc and then it goes from am to manager and then senior manager director and onwards uh, at each level the questions can be different uh, and uh, definitely be different based on your experience, the, their expectations from you. Uh, but we will be touching uh, on a generic level what what questions or uh, anything you need to prepare. All right. Uh, before going into, into interview, so I guess this is our first first section of of this uh, session. So before going into interview, you must you must read the job description, the the uh, requirements over there was asked from you because job descriptions are uh, kind of a reviewed in quite detail and reflect what's their expectation from you when you come as an as a candidate uh, so let's say job description says you need to have work on this area let's say public companies and you don't have public companies in the background so uh, no that, that doesn't really make sense for you to apply so uh, need to have have a depth knowledge of kind of a what job description is to you fulfill that and you need to prepare according to that now in terms of actual preparation uh, when you read the job description you can sense about let's say they say you need to have those communication skills with let's say international teams uh, so if there's this point over there you definitely need to prepare for a questions relating to that uh, they might ask you uh, tell me kind of uh, experience you had with international teams in any scenario let's say conflict management or uh, deadlines etc so these type of things you can directly imply from the job description as well and then there are of course generic questions uh, available uh, everywhere I guess if, if you just uh, uh, look into different websites they are more or less uh, in terms of team management conflicts independence etc I'll touch on them uh, uh, in a while but this is the way you should at least start that uh, process from your side and then uh, what you can do and I did myself when I started applying interviews in the start uh, is kind of a jotting down the questions and then preparing for that in terms of the actual answers because if you are well versed interviewer you, you interview you you have been through a few of them you will know what what should be expected or what not but uh, if you are some somehow new like you're applying for first time or maybe initial few times uh, You will not be that that uh, kind of a, You might not be confident, but you may be but you let's say for most of the cases You might not be confident to respond to every questions uh, Without really being kind of a nervous etc. So it's, it's always good to document uh, kind of the answers and kind of a uh, uh, practice over them even ahead of going to interviews so that will serve as a database for you uh, over, over time you can use that so that's from that perspective uh, another way is to of course uh, nobody is really allowed to talk about what they are asked in and what to say because 
of the confidentiality but uh, you they can provide generic guidance if your friend got kind of a hired they can provide you generic guidance of what we expected so do that that's really helpful for you once you head of preparation on that side now uh, in actual interviews I, I'll break that into number one being uh, how you should uh, present yourself because uh, once the CVs are screened uh, interviews the like the way they they you, you can build your impression basically uh, if you can't build your impression can't sell yourself then of course they are not gonna hire you over there and the second part we will break into the the questions and uh, in between bit more detail as what what can be asked from you uh, so the first part being the actual impression creating for you is basically let's say pre-covid right uh, when there was more or less physical interviews unless you are applying from overseas it's a different story it's, it's still a call uh, but let's say it's a physical interview and then you you went uh, into into room with the interviewer now uh, the way your initial kind of a presence should make an impression on interviewer because everybody is different and you want to stand out from from that perspective uh, so let's say you start you went into the room and then of course there are a few attributes of uh, even normal greeting as well just let's say not just ignore the interview for now but a uh, firm handshake is one of the key you should be maintaining eye contact again if you can't maintain that's a sign of nervousness and lack of confidence and then there are quite other few uh, body language based attributes uh, which can indicate like you are nervous you're not confident you and they might not think you fit for the job so you need to practice that uh, ahead of the interview like how how I am being uh, how I'm presenting myself you might want to practice with your friend etc just just to hear the interview as I said it's for those who are just planning for interviews in the very like uh, early like first interview or like very initial interviews uh, some other attributes being usually you kind of uh, move relax which is kind of uh, considered a bummer when when uh, it shows clear nervousness uh, from your side and then there are things like uh, moving hands or let's say using pen you know tuck, tuck, like this uh, that's that's again uh, there are different kind of attributes uh, which are not good to be to be done in uh, interview so must watch out for them again you can google it and might want to avoid those so that's the one perspective now the actual interview uh, uh, it depends on each job let's say uh, ordered jobs and then non order jobs so uh, focusing on ordered jobs let's let's talk about non audit first because i i won't talk much about that and non audit jobs uh the skill set we have is, is a bit of different than non audit jobs in, let's say in consulting they they uh, will ask you uh probably in terms of how you can bring the business how you can uh, convince the clients uh in terms of different areas of consulting etc so that's a bit different uh but coming on the audit side now audit interviews uh tend to be well it's different for each firm uh some some firms have got especially in the recent times uh they have got digital interviews as well where you are kind of given some time and uh some questions which you can uh, respond in your own own flexible time uh through the video and then those are evaluated by hiring managers uh so this is one of the interviews recently happening and then of course there are physical interviews or online interviews now the questions basically to be asked usually in the interviews are the two types one is kind of a uh, you are behavioral based like uh, those non-competency based basically and then second ones are the competency based uh, which are the technical areas uh, looking into the non-competency uh, it's, it's the way they basically judge your confidence the way you deal with situations the way uh, you can manage the work or teams or engagements etc so those are the question, course questions and they are very relevant for a role for an AM level uh, or manager etc because at that level you are supposed to manage the things uh, manage the engagements clients etc and in terms of those questions they basically ask you uh, more or less generic questions again you can find the details uh, over many websites but being some generic questions usually they ask you about your team management skills like how big teams how much in international teams group teams etc your conflict management within teams with clients uh, independence issues uh, any situation of independence issues created 
uh, any and the key to ask these questions is to to kind of jot down some questions earlier from your side and uh, have have a good response to them like in terms of a good example basically because the key to asking these questions is always an, a very good example if you can't provide example and then you will be avoiding that question uh, in different ways uh, you might be trying to divert that but that's not not good for uh, interview so the key is always uh, to, to practice those questions uh, ahead of time and with, with specific examples from your experience uh, that's the one uh, and looking on the other side being technical questions they depend for each you differ for each job basically let's say the pure auditing being in the financial services let's say uh, they will be asking you kind of for technical questions on different type of accounting let's say IFRS 9 uh, IFRS 5 or anything like that they can ask you those questions uh, with very specific accounting implications or they may ask you anything you saw in your prior experience uh, in terms of any technical area which you might want to uh, share with us and like what was your role in that again it, it's a quite quite uh, wide range of uh, questions can come in depending on each role let's say myself i'm a, i'm in a treasury department uh, i was asked quite a few technical questions on ifrs 9 uh, the impairments the hedge accounting derivatives etc etc so uh, depends on each role what you might be asked uh, uh, I won't go into too much detail I will have a separate video for a uh, bit of the topics uh, the hot topics right now uh, which are asked but just to give you kind of a some simple words which you can research is more or less if you're applying in the uh, UK you must you must trade for UK socks uh, which is kind of a very important the control framework which is going to be implemented and then you must uh, read for uh, some other areas being climate change hot topic again right now everybody is focusing being it fs non-fs everyone uh, this is really hot topic and then linked to climate change is the green bonds sustainable bonds etc the whole uh, dynamics around that because traditional loan market is kind of uh, reducing and the green market is taking uh, taking over on that that's perspective so you must watch out for that and then there are many other topics right I, I, I'll put them separately in a video uh, but for this I just need to be preparing for that I guess these are more or less the questions uh, I think you, you can be asked uh, of course it depends on each job as I said earlier uh, that there will be difference and you be asked different questions uh, I think the key, the way interview really progress is just, I'll just brief you uh, just a bit about how it progresses. So when, when you are asked about your introduction, basically uh, you need to be very precise in that and very kind of uh, informative like you, you want to convey because that's the first, first answer you will provide to the interviewer and uh, that will form the basis of your rest of the interview. So if you can talk about and you need to really think it through what you are going to say in I introduce yourself question uh, you can talk about the experience you can talk about the special attributes the diversity of experience or your exposure etc and this will basically generate questions uh, for this will generate uh, some thoughts in your interviewer's mind and they will ask, ask you questions directly from there and then it can go into and into uh, uh, different different levels this is from very start uh, so that's that's the way you should prepare for uh, your interview uh, I, I think just one thing to highlight recently in COVID times of course uh, the interviews are not really physical as of now and more or less interviews are conducted on their video conferencing zoom MS teams etc so really again it working at home has kind of disturbed the work life kind of a uh, line right now uh, because you you might be working in kind of a uh, trousers at home basically but again when it's interview uh, you need to be well dressed you need to be looking professional not like uh, somebody just sitting at home and uh, just appeared in front of video for interview so definitely need to prepare for that uh, again the, I have I have heard from people uh, there's a different tendency like uh, not everybody wears suits of course Nobody really wears suits at home unless you are some investment banker who is in high, high profile meetings. But uh, you need to be dressed thoroughly and well, well, well dressed for, for those interviews. Uh, this is just my take on interviews now. I guess uh, 
once the interview progress is over, uh, I think what they really note uh, from your side and uh, well, your side is basically the way you talk, the confidence, the level of knowledge, uh, the the way you will be able to integrate within the team, like all the factors from both uh, technical as well as behavioral side uh, so that you will be a good match for the team. Uh, just to highlight, not every candidate is same as I said earlier. So uh, even though you are not the most qualified, because there will be people who are much qualified than you, more experienced than you, but you might w actually get the job and those candidates not getting the job. Just because you sold yourself uh, in the interview, you presented yourself so well uh, uh, and they hired you basically. So it just depends on how how actually you, you work in the interview. Uh, last thing basically and which is very important and everybody needs to really think about that is uh, how you want to close your interview uh, because from interviewer side once they are done with the questions they will ask you uh, you got any questions for us and at that time you need to really show your interest right uh, what uh, what what your thoughts about the job and then any any questions uh, you might have or you might prepare ahead of that I guess a couple of questions uh, I had my experience over there as well and uh, just kind of a jot down as well is number one uh, what is in for like in terms of your career progression and like the career growth uh, in terms of how things will move from start and then how it progress and uh, how will you manage your career so that's the question really appreciate like you are thinking about your own career as well as like of course job so that's the one really, really appreciated. Uh, and the question which is quite common and more or less everybody asks is uh, uh, the response basically, how, like how much I weighed, etc. just before getting the response from a recruiter uh, as well. So this is another question uh, really asked. Some recent uh, questions which are being asked are more or less on the workplace flexibility across uh, the post-COVID world, uh, firms are flexible and you want to know that. So in terms of uh, the way of working, how, how it's looking ahead in coming years is something people are asking. Uh, there are questions on diversity uh, as well, which are recently being asked and, uh, as how firms are looking looking towards that. And all these questions basically reflect on you, you want to kind of uh, integrate with everyone. You want to be part of that culture. Uh, as well and you are looking for your own growth and not the like okay i just want to do the job because i need the job that's that's not you you want more than that so these are really appreciated and there can be many more questions as well right you just need to think about each individual circumstances uh, as well I, I guess that's more or less the tips from me for interviews just just be very well prepared practice ahead of the interviews uh yeah get a get a friend uh, to practice for that and yeah i hope you will be able to ace your interview